Who does this? Sitting there strumming like he's a 40-year-old soccer dad. Like, what are we even talking about? Bro, if you're going to play an electric guitar, get into it, man. Like, fucking head bob it, you know? Oh my god, bro, it's so bright. It's like my head. Like it would reflect off my head and like it would like, deter people from viewing the video. That's why we have to view it in dark mode. Okay, boys, let's do the patch note rundown. Um, all right, let's take a look at the events first. Uh, Water Festival Silver Shop, okay. All right, that's a lawn. We like, we like lawns. What is this? Five million silver gets you 10 hour books of training. Okay, cool. Uh, you could do AFK training on the dummy. Hopefully there's a dummy event. Um, Ellie's Magical Elixir. You can purchase this every day. Uh, max 10 purchases per family during the event. I recommend buying all of the book of trainings, guys. Really, really good. Remember, when you're on a dummy uh, for AFK, like uh, combat EXP training, um, if you pop EXP buffs, they stack. If you pop skill EXP buffs, they do not stack. Okay, so don't pop skill EXP buffs when you're on a dummy. Friendly reminder. I'm not sure what Ellie's Magical Elixir does. Um, I think that they misspoke Ellie's Magical Seal. This must be the Elixir. 14-day um, item. Death penalty minus 10%. Combat EXP plus 100. Wow, death penalty minus 10% is really good. That means you lose less crystals when you die, guys. Um, combat EXP plus 100%. Life EXP plus 30%. Karma EXP plus 30%. Item drop rate plus 20% and weight limit plus 100. Wow. It's a 10 hour buff. Wow. Did you get that just for logging in? That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now you have to log in. You have to buy it every day, guys. Make sure you buy it from the shop. I. It's weird because this says Ellie's special seal and this is Ellie's magical elixir. So it's possible you have to turn the elixir into the seal. Um, or like go to a quest or something, but it doesn't say anything about that here. So it's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, that looks like a lot of fun. Uh, spring is in the air and so is our screenshot event. Oh, pog dog. Wait, didn't we, we haven't even finished. Wait, who won the last screenshot event guys? Okay. Springs in the air and so is our screenshot of it. Okay. So they want you to do a peppy, a preppy pick with the campus blossom or academia outfit. Rewards. All participants get a Petrigio's apparel bag and the enhancement help kit. Um, the top 10 adventurers get the adventurer's outfit box and the ju juke box of Quintet for Spring. Mm. Okay. I'm not sure what's in the exciting outfit box. It's might be, I, I, I don't know. Those red boxes look different. Yeah, you got it. It's got to be in the academia set or the, the campus blossom set. So I won't be participating. We might look at the uh we might look at them live on stream though so just bear that in mind uh we're gonna make fun of you um but also we could adore you so there's that do a good job item drop rate event boys 50 percent drop rate event 500 percent combat exp 400 percent skill exp all the way through april 30th oh my god that's a 22 day event Holy sh... Bro, 22 day, 50% drop rate, guys. That's crazy. And 500% combat EXP. Boys, we going grinding. We going grinding, boys. Any guild leaguers? I'd love to see a tag event in April. Any other people that would love to see a tag event? Yeah, we just had one like a month ago, but like April guild league events are here. Okay, let's take a look. Participation guide. Your guild is acknowledged if you join at least three different days during the event period. Um, okay, so if you do... Um, yeah, if you do guild league on three separate days, guys, um, with your guild, you get a participation award, which is 500 cron stones a week, 2,000 total cron stones for the whole event. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, so make sure you do guild league with your guild, guys. Remember, it's only 10 people now. Oh, wait, no. I don't think that change has come through yet. They're talking about making it 10 people though. Boost your guilds, uh, kill, uh, boost your guilds kills in guild league. 
During the event, uh, we'll reward all guild members based on a total number of guild kills. Oh, wow. So if you're guild... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so guys, if your guild gets... Oh, shit. If your guild gets 300 to 499 total kills between April 9th and May 8th in Guild League, everybody gets 500 crown stones that help participate. If your guild gets between 500 and 999 total kills in Guild League in the next month, you, everyone gets a classic outfit box. If your guild gets over 1,000 total kills in Guild League in the next 30 days, you get a premium outfit box for free, guys. A premium outfit box for free. And a classic outfit box. And 500 crown stones. Guys, we're huge. We're huge. Do Guild League. It is fun, I promise. It's not fun the first few times because you have to fight chill. But after that, you just AFK. Don't even bother. Actually, don't AFK. But like, yeah, it's going to suck the first few times. But once you fight guilds that are like kind of close in skill level and stuff, it's a lot of fun. It's a good time. It's a good time. Uh, Your first Guild League event... Play one, three, five guild matches during the event to be showered with grindstones. Oh, wow. So, guys, if you play five matches during the event, you get 500 more grindstones on top of everything else. If you play three matches, you get 300. If you play in your first match, you get 100 grindstones. Holy moly. Yeah, and you have a whole month to get that done, too. So, they're basically just going to hurl grindstones at you guys. It's massive. Vizus is going to be pinging us in barcode every single day. I'm, I'm not looking forward to it. But also, I am in a sick kind of way. Anyway, those are the events that we're getting. Those are really good. Um, all right, this is the Black Desert music system. So they're finally expanding it so that all classes can now play instruments, guys. We've been asking for this forever. Uh, now we're waiting for all classes uh, to be dancing so that we can watch our um, Dark Knights respectfully pole dance. Um, we've expanded upon the Black Desert music system. First off, we've with today's update, we've made it so that all classes can now play musical instruments. Whether it be with guildies or friends, even in front of adventurers you've just become acquainted with, uh, you can enjoy musical content without being restricted by class. Um, we've also added five new instruments to bolster the arsenal available in Black Desert. The Florchestra Horn, uh, a brass instrument for brilliant, uh, grandiose pieces. The Florchestra Clarinet uh, for bottoms. Um, uh, a woodwind instrument, uh, three types of the Marnie's uh, electric guitar. Those are the tops, uh, all playing with those. Those are going to be in short supply. Uh, okay, so the electric guitar comes in three flavors. Silver Wave, Highway, and Hex Glam. Okay. okay. Um, apparently they have... They have different sounds. Okay. For adventurers musically as active as they're a wandering musician in Artina's self, or herself, to those who, okay, recently did, okay, so they're just kind of fluffing it up. I'll be honest with you, this is great and everything, this is garbage. Okay. Yes, we all want to be able to play instruments, but look how basic the animation is while they're playing. Who plays an electric guitar like this with short shorts on, flexing out of his mind, and Velcro shoes on who does this sitting there strumming like he's a 40 year old soccer dad like what are we even talking about bro if you're gonna play an electric guitar get into it man like fucking head bob you know you know what i mean I, like you gotta, you gotta get in i want to hear some pentakill shit this is ridiculous like look at the zerker it doesn't even look like he likes it man like, look at that bro what are we doing? Yeah. Yeah, I want to see the shy get up on the microphone. Crawling in my skin! You know, and they got like the emo bangs going, the sork in the background on the drum. Like, like that's what that, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. <sighs> this is too basic. I like that they're giving it to us. It's too basic. Honestly, let's be honest. The emo, um, the emo guardian is on the drums. The Sork is playing the electric guitar. Um, the Dark Knight with the bangs is out in front doing lead vocals. Uh, and the Berserker that no one wants to look at is standing in the back. Jamming. Okay. The Ranger can have the harp. I'm sorry, the horn. 
Now, also, the archers can play the clarinet. You all know why. I don't have to explain it. Okay, Guild League. Um, we're preparing for the regular season of Guild League before the... Re oh, okay. So they're making it a lot better. Guild League is being brought down to 10 people maximum instead of 15. I know this is extremely controversial, but I'll be honest with you guys. I think this is an objective W for Guild League overall. More participants, more guilds. Um, like more guild participants are overall. More guilds participating means more fun matches overall for basically everyone. Um... 10 players maximum. Yeah, it takes a little bit of the dynamic out of it, but also means less shies uh, are kind of required to do the game mode uh, because PA refuses to admit that they ma made a mistake uh, with that class or ne it needs to be nerfed at all. So now you can do seven minimum, 10 maximum players instead of 10 and 15. That's really good. Um, second, Blackstone simplification. Um, okay, so yeah, all the Blackstones are being unified. Uh, from Blackstone Armor into Blackstone. It is just one now. Hard Black Crystal Shard are now just Sharp Black Crystal Shards. Uh, yep. So Blackstones are being simplified, guys. Everything's coming into one. Or it's all one Blackstone. Everything under one roof now. Easy peasy. Garmoth Knowledge Acquisition. Uh, looks like Garmoth Knowledge, for those of you that learned and deleted it, said... Knowledge. Oh. Improves so you can now acquire Garmoth knowledge from looting Garmoth after defeating the world boss herself. Uh, adventurers who've already possessed the Garmoth knowledge will not gain additional knowledge from looting this item off Garmoth, nor will it increase the knowledge grade. Okay, so they still didn't fix the fundamental problem where, guys, if you get C knowledge on Garmoth, you can't get S knowledge. It won't upgrade. You have to just delete the knowledge and try to do it again. It's really annoying. Still a problem. Still annoying. Mount. We've issued uh, out multiple mount updates, uh, such as increasing wild horse tiers, making uh, the breed full of at least tier six, and all horses will learn sprint with 100% mastery. Today's update will now grant all horses automatic sprint. All your horses now know sprint, guys. 100%. That is a massive quality of life update for the game. Uh, your your horse doesn't just forget how to run uh, the second that it accidentally learns sprint at level 14. Okay, You're AFK for like two minutes. You come back to your computer and you just fall face first off your horse. Because it learns sprint and you just fell right off. It's really annoying. Now, all horses will know sprint at level 1, at 100%. And this makes getting a um, tier 6 uh, courser really easy now. So if you're doing AFK horse training... This actually is crazy money for you because all you really need to learn is charge, I think, to make... I could be wrong about... Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the only thing that Tier 6 needs to know is Sprint and Charge. Um, could be one more thing, but, like, Charge and Drift, I apologize. Okay, so I, I, I take that back then. So Charge and Drift are still the only two things, but even still, it's one less skill that your horse uh, is going to try to learn. So, I mean, this is just an Objective W. Objective W for everybody. It's still going to do Imperial, the T6s. Oh, yeah, no, we're still turning them into glue. It's fine. We're mulching them, but, like, it is what it is. But, like, for all your other horses that didn't know Sprint before, now they know Sprint. And what it means is when you guys go to train a horse for the first time, like, leveling up a horse and stuff, it'll be way faster. Because you can use the Auto Sprint feature at level 1. So you'll be... If you guys don't know, horse training, it's based on how much distance you cover. Okay. So, like, if you're sprinting, you're going to cover way more distance than if you weren't sprinting. Like, until you learn sprint, like you're covering, like, half the total distance that you could uh, if you did know sprint. It's really annoying. Um, but, like, now you're going to get uh, EXP a lot faster for your mounts. Really good. Unless you're on, the uh, unless you're on a wagon, uh, in which case you're just using the instant Excel thing on the wagon anyway. Uh, some knowledge changes for the main quest. Um... Changing the weekly capture a horse for Imperial delivery. And now they're just making it instead of completed Imperial horse delivery, it's just capture a horse. Okay, that makes that really easy. Node and conquest. We should not be getting this. To be clear, guys, I'm pretty sure North America stamped its feet and so did EU. 
and we said we don't want the node war changes. I am almost positive that we should not be getting the node and conquest war changes because CM Corruption confirmed on the forums in an official post that we were not going to get the one hour node war changes. Um, like this is changing node wars maximum length to be one hour instead of two guys. So we should not be getting the node war changes here. Try not to panic. Dialogue choices during interactions with NPCs have been improved to be more immersive. This should be more noticeable for adventurers who play with a wider resolution. Oh, so if you guys have like the one wide resolution monitor, it'll be a lot better now. Uh, having dialogue choices should be near to the NPCs you're interacting with uh, will help your vision be less dispersed, uh, which in turn should improve immersion. Okay, sure. You're more immersed now if you're somebody that likes that wide monitor kind of BS. I personally like having multiple different monitors so I can snap things and have many applications running on different monitors, but like, yeah. Okay. Um, improve the use of the hide the cape feature so that we could hide literally all of your character's clothing uh, on female characters. Oh, sorry. Um, to be visible to other adventurers after a certain period of time. Yeah, so now other players can see you cooming. Okay. Uh, let's be honest, guys. The hide the cape feature is more often than not used to basically just hide all of the clothing uh, and turn your character's outfit into a bikini. I'm not sure why they made that part of the feature, but now other people can see that your character is basically naked. The problem is there's a lot of, like, the, the, the thing is, on a lot of outfits, there's a lot of, like, hide the cape features that should, like, literally hide the cape, but it doesn't actually hide the cape. It hides something on the front of the outfit. Like, what are you even talking about? Like, what what is this, bro? Like, bro, hide the cape. I want you to hide the cape. The front of the outfit was fine. <sighs> so annoying. Um, translation fixes, changes and fixes. I don't see any crazy big bug fixes, guys. And, uh, no Megu adjustments for Awakening Megu, very tragically. Let's take a look at the Pearl Shop real quick. Okay, Pearl Shop update for April 9th. Crystal Restore plus one coupon. What is this? What are we doing? Okay, so the Crystal Restoration plus one coupon looks like it's here, guys. Uh, if you guys somehow don't know what this is at this point, this allows you to recover your crystals one more time per year. Um... This same guy, his League of Legends name is Kaisa's Titty Sweat. What league do you think he's in? That's the best part about low elo. It's the names. Anyway, you get plus one crystal restoration now. So like, you know how every year if you die in PvE, you get three crystal restorations for free. You just click the button, your crystal comes back to you in-game, whatever. If you buy one of these coupons, it'll give you an extra slot. So you get four every year, five every year, and six every year. Okay. Um, just to be clear. Um, I will probably not be buying this. I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's very predatory. Uh, I think it's a shitty move by the company um, to try to monetize something that the players have been asking for um you to fix i think that the crystal system should just be fixed um you don't necessarily have to remove crystal loss in pve but there should be some sort of system in game that allows us to kind of mitigate some of our losses in pve instead of trying to monetize it with pearls is very frustrating uh for i think the entire player base this is definitely pay to win it's um and so instead of fixing the problem you try to make it a pearl shop solution and you can yourself I did not, I do not like that. I completely disagree with that. So I will probably not be buying that at all. Um, it's $20 per slot, guys, just so we're clear. It's like $60 if you want to buy all three. It's really annoying. This is the new outfit that is definitely not the Academia set, guys. 
It's not the Academia set. It looks like the Academia set, but it's not. It, I, it, it looks like it. It talks like it. It's the Academia set at home. But positive mental attitude. You have Velcro shoes like the special education kids had when you were growing up. Um, you can vel You can have those Velcro shoes. So your choices are uh, high heels uh, or mental illness. And honestly, we're all wearing the shoes. Let's be real. The Velcro shoes are kind of where it's at. Let let's be real. Those kids knew what the f*** was up. We all were just sitting there tying our shoes like losers. Th those things, you just strap it right over, bam, done. Practical, man. It's way better. That's why I wear Crocs now. I'm buying the shoes. Yeah, the shoes might be worth. You can buy the shoes separately. Hated Velcro shoes since I was a kid. I like Velcro shoes. I think there are W's. Um, Artisan memory pack. Okay, so you get Artisans. Set sale pack. All right, so. Yeah, so you have the standard Artisans. Weights on sale. The 400 LT is back, guys. They bring this back every three months. Almost religiously every three months. Uh, and then it goes away. So, like, if you're, like, a FOMO person, you're like, oh, no, I don't know. It's just not going to be there anymore. It'll come back in, like, two or three months again. Don't even worry about it. And I don't even... The 400 LT is like, whatever, guys. You're talking about like 20 or 30 bucks to put 400 LT on your character. It's just not worth it. Just get the loyalty weight. You'll be fine. Like, loyalty weight. And then if you if you really care this much about weight, why don't you just buy maids? Maids are, maids are way better. Okay? Maids are weight for everyone. Also, Mirac like, um, Feathery Steps 5, maids... And loyalty weight. You'll never buy weight again. Easy. Uh, Marnie's process fuels 20% off. Nobody cares. Don't buy that. Carrick skins look like they're 50%, 15% off. And the entire weight category is 20% off except for the 400 pound weight. The tree has an apparel bag, but you can get that just by participating. Don't buy this, guys. Well, it's 3K loyalties, or you can just take a screenshot of your character in the Academia set. And if you didn't buy the whole Academia set, just take a picture of your character's shoes and send it to, send it to him. Adventurer's Basics Pack. Okay, so this is like the new new Adventurer Pack or one of the new Adventurer Packs. Gives you a premium outfit, two maids. Um, that's a that's a pet, a young Baphomet. It's a pet. Ten loot scrolls. Three. This is not worth it if you're a new player. This is kind of a lot of money. It's 40% off, but like you, unless you need the premium outfit box, it's not worth it. If you feel like you want the outfit in the premium outfit box, absolutely, this is worth it. But if you don't want the premium outfit, it's not going to be worth it. You can just buy two maids, get one free uh, most other times. New adventure package. Um, there's a one plus one pearl box. Um, usually what this, are, guy, the, what this is, guys, is instead of spending $10 or spending $60 and getting $60 worth of pearls, you spend sixty dollars and you get one hundred and twenty dollars worth of pearls. This is the most cost-efficient thing in the entire game. You absolutely should buy this if you're looking to spend money on the game. The one plus one boxes are extremely efficient and super good for all players in the game. This one looks like it's only for new players, though. So just bear in mind, you're not required by any means to do this. But if you're going to buy a um, pearls, you should do it with the one plus one boxes. That's how I recommend to do it. Um, it's basically fifty percent off everything in the pearl shop. And then you didn't even use a coupon. It's like you can just... It's 50% off everything, and then you can use a coupon and stuff. So you can get the tent for like 80% off. It's pretty crazy. Because if you use a 20 or 30% coupon on the tent, and it's on sale, and you did a 1 plus 1 box, you end up getting the tent for like 10 or 15 bucks. It's a piece of cake. Um, okay. Uh, new Adventure starting pack, 70% off. Classic outfit box, made. Another made. An Arctic Fox and a Polar Bear. For 70% off, that's super worth it. Now, all this extra stuff is who cares. The character expansion coupon is actually really good. But like 70% off, all of this stuff is really good. If you don't believe me, watch my pet guide. The Arctic Fox and the Polar Bear are extremely good pets. Uh, and obviously you're getting two maids with it too. The classic outfit bosses, whatever. But um, The weight up pack. This is definitely really good for a new player. 60% off all weight. Uh, if you have like a main and you don't plan on playing other characters, it's not the worst idea in the entire world, especially if you don't have feathers, Feathery Steps 5. 
I would buy this, not the 400 weight. I would buy this instead. This is this is not a bad not a bad option. Uh, new player inventory plus 16 times two, 60% off. Okay, yeah, sure. This is pretty good too. Um, you should have some inventory on your main character. Uh, although I recommend buying the season pass first, guys. If you're gonna spend money on the game, get the season pass first for your seasonal character. And then if you feel like you need more inventory, uh, this is definitely a good option here. Maiden Butler support pack. It looks like you're getting four maids for 60% off. That's a huge W. Uh, slam dunk maids you can't go wrong with. You can almost never have enough of those. I have like 40 of each uh, because they keep giving them away for free. Uh, and I still don't feel like I have enough. So it's just a W. When do we get more season passes? Um, probably with the ball. Uh, I, I would imagine that you're probably not going to get one until the ball happens. Um, character slot expansion coupon, 50% off. Uh, you can just get this with loyalties. You don't need to get a character slot expansion coupon, but them being 50% off is usually a good thing. If you can get them for 50% off, this is not a bad investment. If you spend your money on this, it's not a bad thing. Character, actually having extra characters, uh, to be able to swap between and put alts all over the world. So you don't constantly have to run all over the world to do all the stuff in the game, uh, is very, very efficient. Um, uh, and it can save you a lot of time. So it's definitely worthwhile. Um, returning adventures package. Okay, so the returning players should know enough not to buy this. Um, Celestial Calling Horn Permanent is really, really good though. It looks like it's 70% off. It's a premium outfit box. If you're playing a new class, this will outfit the new class. It'll give you a character expansion coupon. It'll give you a Celestial Horse Flute. It's really good if you feel like you want to try something new. You're coming back to the game. You don't want to play your same old Sork that you've been suffering on for the last, or the Kunoichi that you suffered on for six years. You want to play something new. Yeah, you can outfit the new character pretty pretty simply with this 70% off. Returning Adventure Special Outfit Box. Don't buy that. That's a scam. It's just a pay to win uh, thing. Um, and it's usually not worth it to do stuff like that. Wait up pack. This is pretty good. Pretty good. Anytime weight is on sale like this much, it's really good. It's very difficult to find that. So yeah, this is just all the returning adventure stuff down here too. Yeah, so it's exactly the same for returning adventures as it is for new players. Yeah, they're exactly the same. Um, so just go reference my new player uh, stuff there. Okay, guys, that's the patch note rundown for the week. Um, and make sure you sub and uh, like on YouTube. Comment. We love you. Thank you. I read all those comments. They feel really good most of the time. Some of you guys are savages, though.